What's up guys welcome in this video. Today we are going to update drivers in Windows 11. This tutorial works for Windows 10 without any issue. Let's begin. At first, open run and type system properties advanced and hit enter. Now, go to system protection. Scroll down and select system drive. Click configure. Make sure system protection is turned on. Then, set make usage between 1 to 5 GB. I have set it to 2%. Click create and give name to the restore point. After the process gets completed, exit the window. Open settings. Then navigate to Windows Update. Click check for updates. This also checks update for outdated drivers and automatically installs them. In my case, there is no any update for drivers here. If you are facing same thing like me then click advanced options and go to optional updates. Click driver updates. We are getting few updates here. Guys, you can customize the drivers as per your will and install them. However, if you don't know much about these stuffs then select all and install as they are recommended by Windows. Wait some time till the installation completes. Now, exit settings. Windows Update doesn't update all drivers to latest version. It updates to the stable version. However, some drivers may lack features and performance improvement. To ensure this, open Device Manager. Open Run and type devmgmt.msc. Hit Enter. First of all, check the driver date of display adapter. It's quite old, let's update it. Currently, we have three varieties of GPU. Joking aside, let's download the drivers. Click the required link from the description of this video, as per GPU you have. For NVIDIA, download the GeForce Experience. For AMD, download Driver Updater. And for Intel users like me download the DSA tool. Run the setup of GeForce Experience and install it. After installing, launch it. You will see an interface like this. Go to the Drivers tab. Click 3 dot at the right corner. Choose Game Ready or Studio Driver as per requirement. If you want to do both gaming and editing then select Game Ready Driver. After selecting, click the Download button. Then wait some time for installation. Run the setup of AMD Driver Installer. Click the Install button. Wait some time. Click Next. Click Install. Then wait some time for installation. Install the DSA tool. Now, restart your device. After restart, open the DSA tool. In my case, the update of the graphics driver is not showing here. If it's showing in your case, then click the download button. If it's not available here, click support and go to the download center. Click graphics. Now open run and type dxdiag, hit enter. Go to display. Here, we can get the details about the display adapter. The graphics chip belongs to the Intel HD graphics family. The name of the graphics chip of my device is Intel HD 5500. After filling the details, we would get the required graphics driver. Download it. Run the setup of graphics driver which we have just downloaded. Guys if you face an error like this then exit the setup. Open run and type devmgmt.msc. Hit enter. We need to uninstall the old driver to solve this issue. Before uninstalling, we need to turn off the internet connection in the device. Right click the driver and click uninstall the device. Check the box and click uninstall. It is asking for restart. Click yes. Now, let's see the problem is fixed or not. We will restart later. 
choose no. We can delete these setups. Also, now you can turn on the internet connection. Guys, time to update network drivers. Open device manager. Check the driver date of the Wi-Fi or Ethernet adapter which you use. Generally, I use Wi-Fi, but here in this video, I am going to update both adapters. Network drivers can be updated from the device manager in an easy way. But here, no updates are available, although the drivers are old. Let's update them manually. Guys, I have an Intel adapter, but in your device, there might be Realtek adapter. I have given the link of both Intel and Realtek network driver in the description. After you click the link of Realtek adapter from the description, you would reach this page. There are four drivers listed here. From device manager, check the name of network adapter that matches with these. After you find the correct one, click the download button. Scroll down and click the download button of the required adapter under Windows. After downloading install the driver. Let's install Intel Network Driver. You will get link of these two sites in description. At first, we'll download the Wi-Fi driver. Right click the Wi-Fi driver and click Properties. Go to Details. Right click the text and copy it. Then paste it in the search box. Now remove R from the text. Some options would appear. From here choose the correct one. In my case, it's AC7625. Go to another site and follow me. It is easy to recognize series. Examine the number part of the name. In my case it's 7265 so it belongs to 7200 series. After filling details, some options would appear. Here, we have to choose an appropriate driver. Like the first one is for IT admins, so it is not needed by normal users like us. The second one seems to be proper. If you want to check further, scroll down the page then ensure that your network adapter is in the list. Now, download the driver. Let's find Ethernet driver. Go to the device manager and follow me. Paste the copied text in the search box. Remove R from the text. Now choose the correct option that matches with Ethernet driver's name. Scroll down the page and click Downloads and Software. I will put its link in the description as it works for all Intel Ethernet adapters. Download the driver. After downloading, let's install them. Run the setup of the Wi-Fi driver and follow me. Now extract network driver. Double click auto run. Choose install drivers and software. Install the driver. Guys, you can delete these files. Now, restart your PC. We have successfully updated major drivers. Guys if you face any issues, let me know in the comment section. Love you guys.